A group of young Muslims from the Islamic Education and Research Academy are coming together in the hope of tackling misconceptions about Islam. And this unique historic gathering will all take place on August 20th across 204 countries. Volunteer teams from six continents and 204 countries from around the world will be giving dawah, the Arabic word for teaching and sharing the Muslim faith with others. Those who are here today convey this message to those that are not here. For truly it may be that the person whom you convey the message to may understand it better than you. I got involved in Dawah uh, with Daira. So Daira uh, set up a, a, a course uh, with Mission Dawah in our local masjid, which was Wimbledon Park Mosque. Uh, and we've just got a local team together and alhamdulillah we tried to get as many brothers involved and uh, we're here now a year later and we're trying to grow inshallah and have more people involved within our team. The mission is taking place in conjunction with the Olympic Games in Brazil, with Turkey chosen as the base country to host the main events. The goal is to convey the peaceful and compassionate message of Islam in hopes of enlightening non-Muslims to the true teachings of the religion. Why are we spreading love? Because we are spreading the love for Allah and His Messenger to the wider community, to humanity. And this is why Dawah is about spreading love. Because the Prophet said, love for Allah what you love for yourself. Love for people what you love for yourself. You won't truly believe in unless you love for your brother what you love for yourself. And this brotherhood means humanity. So from this perspective, if we want to truly believe, we have to share this love with everybody else. Those taking part hope that events like this one will lead to more open dialogue and better understanding of each other. To give us a little bit more information about this event, Salihuddin Patel joins us now from our London studios. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for inviting me on the show. You're gearing up to start a worldwide campaign later this month. Tell us about the campaign. What is it? How was the idea born? And what do you hope to accomplish? Yes, AIRA was formed in 2009 with a clear vision, which was to go out there and convey the call of Islam. And this message of Islam, the peaceful message of Islam, is our duty to go out there and convey this message. So we know, according to our Islamic tradition, that the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, may peace and blessings be upon him, he was a final and last messenger, and there are no messengers after him. So it's the duty and obligation falls upon us, the descendants of those noble people, to go out there and convey this message of Islam. So the World Dawah Mission is the embodiment of this vision. We are trying to get every single country around the world to get involved in this amazing campaign to convey the message of Islam. And this is what World Dawah Mission is all about. We are trying to motivate and educate people to get involved in this mission, which is essentially the prophetic legacy of all the prophets. And this is our vision, to go out there, convey the call of Islam, and be companions of this prophetic mission. And our vision is very simple, you know, that we are going out there to convey the message of Islam and also we're living in a time where there are a lot of misconceptions regarding Islam and it's our duty to go out there and clear these misconceptions. The way we do this is engaging in peaceful, compassionate conversations and going out there and, you know, just asking a simple question, which is the central theme of this campaign is life you know just the game is life just a game so you and your team of volunteers will be in 204 countries tell us about the preparation stage yes as you can imagine this is a huge campaign and this world our mission is something that is unprecedented you know it's it's never been done in in islamic history of the world so as you can imagine, it's required a lot of preparation. So we started our preparation in 2012 when we did the first hour day when the Olympics were in London. And since then, you know, we've grown our network. We get invited across the world by many different organizations where they want us to speak about Islam, motivational talks. They ask us for dawah training and for resources. So over the years, we've built up a network and we've done campaigns Prior to this campaign, we did a campaign in Brazil entitled What's Your Gold in line with the World Cup. Last year, we did a campaign called Who Do You Love? So over the years, we've built up from 30 countries to 55 countries. And now we're aiming to get to 
you know, to over 200 countries around the world. So, you know, it's been a difficult task, but we're living in an age of, you know, social media, and that's helped a lot. Through the power of social media, we've been able to contact Muslims all across the world, motivate them, and they've been inspired to take part in this campaign. And, you know, it's, it's been, the, the response has been phenomenal. Um, so our preparation started in 2012, and this is the pinnacle, you know, World Dawah mission. Every single world in the country is going to get involved in this campaign, inshallah. So Turkey was chosen as the main stage of this cultural gathering. Why Turkey? Well, you know, Turkey is beloved by all Muslims throughout the world. It has a rich Islamic history. And we know many of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, such as Abu Ayyub al-Ansari, he is buried in Turkey. And they went to Turkey to go and convey the message of Islam. So what better city, what better country than, you know, Turkey for being the center point for this campaign? Because, you know, we want the city to embody the whole idea of the campaign, which is to inspire the world to go out there and convey the message of Islam. And we know that from the, the history of Turkey, it's been the spiritual hub, the center of, of the world in terms of not just Islam, but other world religions as well. So we hope and we believe this is the best place to have the central city for this campaign, which is Istanbul, Turkey. Right, so what role does the Olympic Games have in this event? So, you know, we started in 2012 in terms of our preparations. We did the first Dower Day in London in line with the London Olympic Games. And it was a phenomenal campaign because we had over 500 Muslims come out on that day wearing the iconic Is Life Just a Game t-shirts, engaging in, you know, powerful, compassionate uh, conversations about Islam, clearing misconceptions. So really when it comes to the Olympic Games where the Olympic Games is the greatest show on, on earth where, you know, every right. single country around the world takes parts in these games to be part of, you know, a showcase where the best athletes come together. We thought what better campaign than to use the Olympics to invite the whole world not to compete in in, in games, but to go out there and convey the message of Islam. Salah Tim Patil, thank you very much for joining us.